Hey guys, welcome to part two of making your headphones or speakers sound better. If you haven't watched part one, I really, really recommend it. We go over how to install Equalizer APO, which is the engine that allows us to make all of these tweaks to the sound of our headphones or our speakers. Uh, in part one, I also show you how to browse a huge selection of presets that allow you to correct the frequency response of a lot of popular headphones, essentially turning them into flat sounding headphones. So if you're interested in that and you haven't seen the first part, make sure to go watch it. There's a link in the description below. But we ended that video showing you this great little feature that Equalizer APO has, which is the ability to load a VST plugin. Now, remember, Equalizer APO works as a system wide processor effect, sort of. So this means that you could be watching a video online. You could be playing a game. You could be streaming music. Everything will go through these plugins. And if that's not awesome, I don't know what's awesome anymore because you could be using a plugin such as the Waves Abbey Road Studio 3, which will allow you to turn your headphones essentially into an Abbey Road control room, changing the sound to simulate the sound you would get if you're in that Abbey Road control room studio listening through the main monitors. So that sounds really, really cool. And I would really love to be able to use my computer like that. Every time I have my headphones on, just Imagine that I'm in the Abbey Rhodes control room, but it's not as straightforward as it might seem, because even though you have a VST plugin effect here and you could apply a VST plugin, this expects a DLL file. And whenever you install your Wave plugins, they come in this shell form. And the shell form is sort of an archive, if you want to, where all the plugins are being stored. And if you're trying to add this here, you'll see that it won't work. Let's try and add it here and it won't work. It will say no file selected and we're going to wait for the shell to load. Yeah, as you can see, plugin crashed during initialization and the whole equalizer APO thing crashed, which of course is not good. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to actually be able to use Waves plugins or other plugins that come in shells in Equalizer APO. So let's get started. So the reason why taking this thing and plugging it straight into Equalizer APO doesn't work is because Equalizer APO is looking for an individual VST plugin. And when we're feeding it this DLL, we're actually feeding an archive that could contain multiple plugins and Equalizer APO doesn't know what to do with this archive. So what we need to do is take this archive extract the plugins from it and only then feed in the individual plugins. And in order to do this, we're going to use a very good utility called shell to VST that you're going to be able to download using the link I shared in the description of this video. And you're going to open up this archive and you could extract it anywhere. Really, it doesn't matter that much. So then you're going to navigate into the folder where you extracted the thing and you're going to do something that's quite easy. There are multiple ways to use it, but the easiest way is just to take your shell and drag it over the respective process. Now, if you're running a 64 bit system and you have 64 bit plugins, you're going to use this 64 bit version and you need to use 64 bit because this is the type of plugin that Equalizer APO can use. It doesn't work with 32 bit plugins. So you're going to use the 64 thing here and as you can see, it created my plugins and they are here in the Waves folder. These are the individual DLL files and we can use these files directly into Equalizer APO. So we're going to open up the plugin, select the right DLL. These ones are for surrounds. I'm going to use this one, which is for stereo. Open it up, wait a moment and it should load right up. As you can see, it also opens up the tracker, but we don't want to use that. Right now, this plugin is actually working in Equalizer APO and we can open up its panel to configure it. This is the configuration. We could disable head tracking for now. We don't need that. We're going to enable the far monitors because I just like the way they sound. And you could also click apply automatically or just apply here. But every time you tweak the settings, you need to click apply and then OK. So there you go. Right now, this plugin is on system wide on your computer 
everything you'll do through your headphones, you'll hear the effect of the Abbey Road Studio plugin. And this, in my opinion, is awesome because not only can you make music through this plugin, but you can listen through music to this plugin on your favorite platforms. You could play games through this plugin. You could watch YouTube videos through this plugin. So this is absolutely awesome in my opinion. Well, there you have it. This is how to use a Waves plugin in Equalizer APO. This video was quite short, but I wanted to break it into its specific part so that people that are looking for just this specific thing, they already know how to use Equalizer APO. They just wanted to be able to use their Waves plugins into Equalizer APO. That's the way you do it. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If that's the case, maybe click the like button, maybe subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, have a nice day, have a nice week, and I'll see you next time.